And we are following a multi-state investigation into a violent kidnapping. A suspect is accused of keeping a woman locked up in a makeshift cell he built in the garage of his Oregon home. Her daring escape led to the arrest of 29-year-old Negasi Zuberi. And the FBI thinks this investigation is really just beginning. News Nation's Alex Capriello has been following this multi-state investigation. So Alex, it sounds like the woman who escaped was not his first victim, according to the FBI. Yeah, Kelly, it's clear that if this woman hadn't fought her way to freedom through that makeshift cell, this guy could still be out there kidnapping, imprisoning, and possibly hurting other women, which means the FBI ha now has the tall task of seeing if there are any other possible victims that could be out there. Check this out. This is a look of what that cinder block cell looked like after investigators made the arrest and busted in. Police say 29-year-old Nagasi Zuberi went to great lengths to plan this crime, picking up a sex worker in Seattle, posing as an undercover cop, flashing a fake badge before driving her seven hours and hundreds of miles to his apartment where he locked her up. That woman bloodied her hands, punching her way to freedom before grabbing a stun gun that was used against her, hopping a fence, and then flagging down a passing car. Court docs show once he realized that she escaped, Zuberi fled to Reno, Nevada. That's where he was arrested the very next day. A grand jury in Portland charged Zuberi with interstate kidnapping. That means he could spend life in prison if convicted. News Nation's Portland affiliate spoke to one of his former neighbors. He described the suspect as aggressive who sought out confrontations with others. For him, it was more like, you know, I'm, I'm the man, I'm taking charge. And so when, they, when I found out about even like the whole pretending to be a cop, and I'm like, that's not surprising from him, you know, because that's probably uh, like, I'm like, he, he's a con artist. The FBI is now on an urgent search for any other potential victims out there. Zuberi has lived in at least these 10 different states. A website has been set up for other women to come forward if they feel they were ever at risk. Zuberi is going to be tried in Oregon. The process has already begun of bringing him from Reno, Nevada, back to the Portland area. Uh, that could, of course, take several weeks before he sees his day in court. Kelly. And this story just unimaginable. Um, Alex, you mentioned that this was a well thought out crime. Uh, what evidence do police have that supports that? Well, besides that huge cinder block cell that you saw that included dozens of those huge bricks and those metal bars that we were told were actually welded together, the police, when executing that search warrant, were able to uncover several different documents that Zuberi had allegedly wrote. Uh, they were titled Operation Takeover. They included a detailed list of bullet points uh, that he had written out, comments like, leave phone at home. Also, make sure that they don't have a bunch of people in their life. Quote, you don't want any type of investigation. Wow. All right. Alex Capriello, excellent reporting as always. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.